In this video we're going to be showing you how to retrieve results from a Mongo database and display them in a HTML table using Ajax without refreshing the page. Okay, so as you can see we currently got no table being displayed because we're going we're going to add that logic now. We just got basic uh, Node.js boilerplate here. Required Express, Body Parser, Mongoose. Created the uh, database called Person Database. This is the schema for it. Very important that we overwrite the uh, the ID, using underscore ID, because otherwise this field always gets automatically generated anyway unless we overwrite it with what we want. Created uh, the model offer. The collection will be called Peoples. Because remember, it's automatically pluralized by Mongoose. Uh, this is very important. You don't have to require uh, the URL encoded version of body parser, but you do, you will have to do the uh, the JSON for what we're about to do. Um, set the view engine to EJS as always, and then we just rendered this simple uh, table EJS file, which has got nothing really nothing really on it. Required jQuery. Uh, this is important. This is the drop down uh, when. They select an option, it activates this method in the uh, JavaScript file with this start value as the argument, so either 1, 2, 3 or 4 depending on which name they choose or nothing if they just choose the first one. Um, and I'll show you the database now. So uh, I'll show you databases, so we've got person database, that's the one that we want at the moment. And then it should be people, yeah, peoples, uh, db dot peoples dot find. And as you can see, we just got simple numbers for the ID, first name, last name, age, hometown. It's the same for the ones the formatting is. So first things first, we're going to need to do uh, the styling just to make the form look good. So we'll say form, And then we'll say width, we'll say 50% the actual document, that should be fine. And then we'll say um, border collapse. Collapse to make sure that the, uh, the, border, the border lines are single so it, look, it looks a lot nicer. Create a, a combined selector for table, table data which are basically like the, uh, the rows and the, uh, the table header. And then we'll say uh, border one pixels solid black, let's make the borders look nicer. Uh, and then we'll give it everything padding five pixels, so it's not cramped. The text inside. And then I would say we'll line the text on the left, the text on line left. We just need to do that on the table headers. The table data will follow suit after that. Now that we've done the styling, we can do the logic. So we'll need to create the show user function, which will be activated every time they select an option in the dropdown. So function, what is it? Show user. We'll say, we'll call the argument str. And then we'll say if str not equal to empty string. So if they've actually selected a username, not just the first option, which is nothing. We'll create Ajax object URL will be the default route because we've only got one route. Method we post content type we're using JSON, so application slash JSON. Uh, and then data we're using JSON, so we need to convert. What will currently be a string to a JSON object, so JSON.stringify. We'll say a choice, pass an SDR, and then success. Uh, yeah, we'll say result. So this will be the method that gets activated once we've handled the post method. So now we have to handle the post method because we just sent a post request to the server containing 
uh, the user selection. Okay, so we'll get hold. Uh, what's the we'll, we'll create add that post first. Okay, a lambda function. Like response. Yeah, we'll get hold of the uh, the user selection now by saying let choice equals uh, rec dot body dot choice because that's what we called the field name of the JSON object. But we'll cast this to a number because we set the ID to be of type number. But this is currently a JSON object string, so I need to uh, so as you can see number. So that's the reason for that. And then we'll, we'll get hold of the model name, which is person. And then find by ID. The ID will be choice. So we need to find the document with the same ID. And then function uh, result. So if there's an error, then obviously log that error. Hopefully it won't be. else uh, we we'll need to okay this is the hard part now because we're going to have to do some complex uh, string interpolation but basically we'll create a variable called let opening we'll say uh, let opening table yeah so this is the hard part because we're going to need to do some uh, complex string interpolation but first of all we'll uh, just create the header part the header row, the part which doesn't change because obviously it's the same field uh, for each user. So we need to set the string to be single quotes because it's the only way to do multi-line in JavaScript, multi-line strings, you'll see in a second. So I open up the table tag here, backslash, if you don't know where the backslash is, it's to the right of your left hand shift key. So it's a table row, open up a table row, table header. Oh, sorry, the reason why we get an error is because we didn't do a backslash there to indicate new line. Table header, first name, close that. Table header tag, again, just follow the structure, fill it out. Last name. What came next? Age came next. Uh, oh, whoops. Yeah, it's not the nicest thing to do this, but it needs to be done. So, hometown. And then, last one for this job. Okay, now I need to close off the table row. So, yeah, we don't need a backslash here now because it's the final line. Okay, now that, now that we've got that sorted out, the reason why we did this uh, is because this is just the uh, the table headers, so it doesn't change no matter which user uh, we select because they've all got the same fields, they, they all follow the same document structure. Um, but now we need to do the part which actually displays the uh, information which will be unique to the user. So the way that we do that is we'll set opening table equals to itself plus a new string. Remember open single uh, single uh, comment and then we'll say new table row and then TD now for table data, not table header. So it won't be bold and then we'll say uh, we need to concat concatenate the result dot first name plus close the table data new line table data plus result dot last name concatenate table data new line again just follow the same structure result dot age uh, yeah. close it, new line result dot 
hometown. Again, new line. My final one now. Result dot job. Close the table data. Whoops. New line, and then we'll need to close the table. And then after that, we'll need to close the actual table tag. Okay, now that we've done that, that, that was the hardest part. Um, we need to actually send it back to the to the jar to the browser to the JavaScript file. And then so I'll we'll say res dot send. Uh, we'll say we'll call it HTML the field. And then uh, opening table will be the value of the field. So now we go back to the JavaScript file. We uh, should have given person info to this, this bold tag, this bold div here. This this should have an ID. Not not so we could style it, just so we could access it in the JavaScript file. So we we've given it an ID, a text hint. So we need to create a reference to it now. Those. Yeah, txt hint. dot html result dot html so that would change the html of this divider to equal the table with the correct content that the user chose so if everything's going well now it should be working we uh we've got we've got everything running the node mon server so uh peter Gr Okay, so it's not using the border collapse for some reason. Form. Um. Oh yeah, because yeah, so it's not form. Yeah, so form is for the yeah, it's table. That's how yeah. Refresh this now. There you go. So that's the reason. So it looks a lot better now. That's the reason why you want a uh, border collapse. Perfect example like that why you want that because otherwise it just looks really ugly and now we change it and the page doesn't refresh but it gets the um, information for this database and displays it in the table uh, all without refreshing the page so yeah and again if you have any questions don't hesitate to post it in the comments below i'll be there to answer any of your queries if you have any um, and yeah, you can style this the way you want, implement it the way you want. This is just a bare bones concept. Uh, and yeah, post below like if you have any other tutorial suggestions. If you want me to do like a SQL tutorial instead of using Mongo database, I can do that. How to do the same thing. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.